Whew. Let's talk about stress and coping. How do we do that? In this video, I'm going to talk about three super simple formulas to deal with the stress on the sales engineering job. Keep watching. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit if it I'm on the road today, which is a perfect opportunity to take a step back from the daily grind of going in and out of Zoom calls and talking to so many different people. I have more time to reflect on things and think about how it's been going for me. And this is my number one strategy of dealing with stress and you know, reflecting how you're doing, what's your stress level and is there anything that you want to change to reduce that stress level? So journal how I felt that day. Just to kind of take stock of that day, you have to kind of be able to look back in time and see the dynamics, see the development of your stress levels. The other thing that helps for me is looking at the calendar. Even if you don't feel stressed, and you haven't been noticing that you've been under a lot of pressure lately, you will be able to tell it by the calendar. Look at the calendar, look at your journaling, and try to take stock of how you're feeling and what's your stress level because that's really important in order to be able to manage it even if you're not journaling you could just ask people around you ask your family what do they think your stress level is and believe me sometimes they can tell you better than yourself Who's won't have it till i'm doomed in a casket i ain't playing got a weird mind if you work eight hours i'm gonna work nine the next thing in order to manage my stress levels is i've talked to people who are paid for that and that's my line of management. These people are paid to build high performing teams and you are part of that team. And it is in their best interest to make sure that your stress levels are manageable and that you are performing to the best of your abilities. Hopefully you have regular weekly one-on-ones with your manager. If you don't ask them to set it up or you set it up yourself and also don't just wait for the next weekly call. It's best to talk as soon as you have the need to talk and if you can do it in person, it's even better. I wouldn't be sending any emails or creating some kind of paper trail because whatever you write, it can also be seen in a different light. It can be interpreted different ways. So better to start talking to your manager one-on-one -on -one in person and sharing how you feel. They want to hear how you're feeling, but they also want to hear your action plan. They want to know how you plan to, to get out of the current situation because they are liable they need to do something and the best course of action is you telling them what they should do for you An example if you feel stressed about how the aes are throwing you at customer meetings without enough prep you need to suggest more prep and then you need to ask your manager to talk to his counterpart the you know the dm the manager of the AE, so they jointly agree that you guys as a sales team you need to have more frequent or longer prep meetings before facing the customer. So be very specific about what you want your manager to do for you. To the highest bidder, got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last year. So no me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. And the third thing I do is what I call hobby or personal projects. And of course, they're not personal, they're company projects, but I always like to have some side project that keeps me occupied, also keeps me energized, allows me to express my creativity. And this could be anything. This could be a demo that you will possibly show to a customer at some point, work stream within your company, people building some interesting things that are not immediately related to your day-to-day -day job. Basically anything that can take your minds off the daily grind I do this as a kind of event for the daily stress. Deep down, most sales engineers like building stuff, tinkering around with things. If you have a project like that, it will satisfy the need for being creative. And for me, it also greatly reduces the stress. You know, just seeing some side project being completed and something that I built, something where I was able to express my creativity with, really helps me feel better about the work. This is all I wanted to talk to you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what your own personal strategies are in dealing with stress. I'm really curious to learn. I hope you liked this video and if that's the case, hit that big like button. It will help my channel grow and subscribe if you haven't. 
stay healthy and stay tuned.